Minecraft seeds are generated using randomly selected numbers and letters. But what happens when this procedure breaks? Is it corrupted or can it be repaired? And what secrets might it hide? These are Minecraft's scariest seeds. Starting with seed 5000001, which this Reddit user claims has mountains that are alive and trying to trap you. And they even provided these screenshots, which I thought were just random mountains. But if you look carefully, they are actually the same mountain with one key difference. The first one has an open cave and on the second, that cave is nowhere to be seen. Originally, I thought this was fake and he just covered up the cave himself. I mean, you can literally see him holding dirt in his hand in the second screenshot. But when you look at the replies, he doesn't seem to be the only one experiencing this. There are several players reporting the exact same thing. Some claiming that it's only on the mountains near spawn that will trap you, and some saying it's a different mountain every time. So let's create a fresh world in survival with cheats turned off. So you know that everything you see in today's video is 100% legit free. And we're in. I don't see anything out of the ordinary. Wait, where even are these mountains? Are it? Oh, yep, there they are. That looks just like the mountains in the screenshot. Okay, so far, the mountains look fine. I'm not noticing anything out of the ordinary. I'm just gonna keep my eyes on them this entire time. In fact, guys, what you should do, rewind the video, take a screenshot of those mountains and let me know if you notice anything change, anything out of the ordinary. And if there is something, please let me know. Oh my gosh, I literally just took my, I literally said I wasn't gonna take my eyes off this mountain. I took it off. I mean, seems like a regular mountain to me, I'm gonna have to open my inventory. Okay, quick, 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 quick. Anything? No, I don't see anything changing. Which mountain even is it? I, I'm pretty sure it's this one, but then again, some of the comments were saying there were other mountains. I mean, look, there's a giant mountain range just over there. Okay, let's grab ourselves a crafting table and a pickaxe. After all, we are going to be heading deep inside to see whether or not it will trap us or whatever that's even supposed to mean. I, I don't know. So, I guess we just go with this one. I mean, most of the reports were saying it was one at the spawn, but how do we get in that cave? Was that cave there before? Guys, rewind the video, check your screenshot, let me know. Is it luring me in? Was that cave there before? I don't think it was. Either that, or I'm just getting paranoid and scared because I've read too many scary stories on Reddit. But I mean, the reports, the Reddit user, he posted about caves appearing randomly. Maybe this is a one of those signs? I don't know, guys, I don't like this. Here goes nothing. Check behind me, okay? Nothing. Huh. It's not trying to trap me in here. Seems like a perfectly normal cave, but we're just gonna keep our eyes out for anything that stands out out of the ordinary here. Okay. I mean, there aren't a lot of ores, but maybe that's just bad luck. Huh. A dead end. Okay, maybe I just picked the wrong mountain. I don't know. All right, let's get out of here. Clearly, we can try another mountain and see whether that's the way to go here. All right, come on. Come on. Out we go. Wait. No, no. Where's the exit? Why is there a dead end? Has this cave trapped me? No, 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 no. What do we do now? Watch until the end of the video to find out what happens. Our next seed is only for Minecraft Bedrock Edition, as it seems this is the version most of you use. Given the fact that I received literally hundreds of emails from you guys with this exact same seed. Most of you having the same issue claiming that when you try to turn off mobs from spawning by clicking this button, which is only a setting on Bedrock Edition, well, mobs still spawned even though they shouldn't. And Apparently, they all had one thing in common. They acted strange or abnormal. I don't understand what that means, guys. And unfortunately, most of you didn't give me much more information. So we're gonna have to test it ourselves. I'm even setting the world on peaceful mode. So absolutely no peaceful or hostile mobs should spawn at all. Okay, 
and we're in. Interesting. Do we see any mobs? I don't actually see any mobs. Guys, I think you might be tripping. There are no mobs literally anywhere. I mean, this is a plains biome. It should be crawling with sheep and pigs and everything, right? Did I do something wrong? Did I misunderstand the emails? Did you guys just click the wrong button? Wait, what if only hostile mobs spawn? Because most of the emails I got were about hostile mobs. So let's check these caves here. Okay, what? That's literally pure darkness. There should be a creeper or a zombie or something in there. And yet, absolutely nothing. Look, this entire ravine system. Oh, no, 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 no. That was literally half a heart. Holy, oh my gosh. Getting out of here is going to be such a pain. Bro, I get the feeling. Are you guys clickbaiting me or am I missing something? Because I trust you. After some long research, it seemed that I actually needed to convert this bedrock world to Minecraft Java Edition. Luckily, I found this website, which claims to convert any world into any version. So let's start the upload and fingers crossed this actually works. Okay, so we're here in the source version 1.20 and we need it to be in the latest version of Java Edition. But that begs the question, can you just use the same seed in Java Edition and the same things will happen? Or do you need to convert it? And what does converting do to the seed? Yeah, it says ready to download. Let's find out. Oh. Uh, why am I here? No. No, no. No, no. I was definitely in a plains biome, not a desert. Is it because I converted the world? Oh. Oh. What the? I have literally never seen that before. A pillager outpost spawned on top of a desert temple and the desert temple is literally like inside the underground. What the? Bro, is this natural generation? Is this part of the seed? Is this normal? Actually, wait. True, where am I? Check the coordinates. No. Do you see that? 2,349, 3,882. I am literally about three to 4,000 blocks away from where I spawned in Bedrock Edition. Why did that happen? Is it due to the conversion? Is this structure here also due to the conversion? How does something like this even generate? But I mean, that's still, that has nothing to do with why we're here. We're here for the mobs, which again, there's no mobs spawning whatsoever. I don't see anything. This is a pillager outpost and I don't even see a single pillager here. I don't know guys, I'm beginning to think that maybe you guys just stuffed up the setting. I mean, it, this is a really cool seed nonetheless. Honestly, I would use this seed anyways, just for how dope this is, but still, I, I'm not seeing anything out of the ordinary. Nothing strange in here. Maybe there's something down in the trap. I don't know, seems to be fine to me. Can't tell. All seem the same to me, okay. Bones, that's pretty useless. What? What's going on? Guys, why is the only loot inside of these chest bones? No, no, no. Is there even TNT under here? Unless, the bones. What if they were the bones of the mobs that aren't spawning. Wait, but that, I mean, that's just stupid. The whole point of this is that, you know, mobs are spawning when they shouldn't be, but there's just bones in here. I mean, that could just be a unlucky uh, generation, right? Like really, really bad luck? Is that even possible? Can you get no loot? Or maybe it was a glitch when we converted the world? I don't know, I have so many questions. How do I even get out of here? Dude, this entire thing is literally a death trap. But wait a minute, I have converted tons of worlds to Minecraft Bedrock Edition and to Java Edition, and I've never had any glitches whatsoever. There's no chance that I would have this glitch plus the loot glitch, all these things in a row. It just doesn't make any sense. I know how we can test this. Sure, it is possible that bones could be in the Desert Temple loot, but there is definitely much better loot in a pillager outpost. Why is it blocked off? Okay, that is really, really weird. Is that again part of the seed or? I just don't know. Okay, let's head up. Holy, the whole entire like pyramid is stuck inside of this pillager outpost. And again, there's no pillagers here whatsoever. Guys, I'm thinking this seed 
It might be fake. I think mobs just don't spawn. Pillager. The myth could be real. It's actually real. The seed does work. We turned off mob spawning. And there's a mob right there. But something's not right about this pillager. I mean, I'm in survival mode. It's not even shooting me. It's not even moving. Wait, wait, wait. Hello? I'm literally standing in front of it. Look, I can literally just move around him, even shove him, and he just doesn't care. Wait, what? Where did, where did the pillager spawn from? And wait, did he just murder the other pillager? And now he's back in the same position and froze. Another one spawned. Wait, wh why are they attacking each other? You guys are on the same team. What is happening? And then he's back and then... I don't know what to think. Okay, now I understand what you guys mean by abnormal. This is very abnormal. What is this? This is exactly like your reports. Th these mobs are completely broken. It's just like looping over and over again. One spawns, kills the other, and then freezes back there. What other mobs are affected by this? It just doesn't make sense. The mob spawning is turned off. They shouldn't be able to spawn. And yet they are. Okay, we need to figure out what else this is affecting. What else is going on here? I don't know. I actually don't know, guys. Holy, we need to figure it out. What's that sound? I heard. Wait. Wait, these mobs are just spawning. Ah! What? No. Ravager? There was definitely no Ravager before. Can Ravagers even spawn an outpost? I don't know. How did the mobs just disappear? This makes no sense. There has to be an explanation. And you thought that was scary? What if a seed was actually watching you as you sleep? I've heard this theory a lot with zero evidence until today where this video was published on YouTube. Wait, what? Did you guys see that? Hold up, rewind. There was something in the window. I'm certain I saw it. Okay, go back, go back. No, a little bit further back. There, there's something in the window. Huh, is that? Oh my, oh my gosh. I swear I saw like a, a, a person there, but it, I'm pretty sure that's just a black banner. Let's see what else this video has. I'm just panicking over nothing. Oh my gosh. Okay, you may not rest now. There are monsters nearby. I mean, the myth is known to stop you from sleeping on this scene, but I mean, this just means there are mobs spawned around, right? Okay, let's keep an eye out. Huh. There's there's no mobs. There's, there's no hostile mobs whatsoever. I mean, wait, but they could be underground, right? Uh, they don't have to be on the surface, but it is nighttime and there aren't any above ground. Are they not spawning? Are they underground? I don't understand. Okay, comes back in and still can't sleep. That doesn't make sense. There are no mob. Huh? The, pl the player just died. Okay. There was something there. There was something there. Right there. Okay. Look! The, the split second, the single frame that the player enters the bed, instead of it saying sleeping, it says, I am watching you. Is this the myth that everyone's talking about? I, I think they called it the black-eyed something. Villager? Player? I don't know. But is this myth even real? Was this video faked? This YouTuber claims the seed is Chego, which from some research seems to be a Portuguese word meaning blind in English. But what does being blind and not being able to sleep even have in common? Look, I don't know but we're not going to waste any time. First thing we're gonna do, the minute we load in, is get a bed, which shouldn't be too hard considering we're literally right next to a village. There's one right there. I spent the rest of the day gathering resources and building a small base. It took me a while, but luckily I was comfortable in my new EY Stream hoodie, which you guys can buy right now, along with a ton of other really dope stuff available for a limited time only down below or at eystream.store. But anyways, I think it's time we head to bed and bust this myth. This is the moment of truth. I've got everything I could need, but most importantly, the bed. All right, here it is, almost night. Do you reckon we can sleep yet? We can. Wait, hold on. That just worked. No, wait. Uh, it worked perfectly. What happened to the myth? I wasn't supposed to be able to sleep. Did I do something wrong? Wait, hold up. The video did everything in complete darkness. Maybe it's because I had these torches around. 
Do I have any torches up here? I do as well. All right, let's get rid of all of these, right? So it's, it'll be complete darkness tonight. And then that'll work. And so I waited for the next night. This time, I've literally waited until complete midnight. All right, it is pitch black. There's no light anywhere. It looks just like the video. Let's see if I can sleep. Whoa. What is going on? Why is it not working? But no matter what I did, there was no sign of the black-eyed villager. Ah, <sighs> why won't this entity even appear for just a second? I can sleep just fine. I can't see anything while I'm sleeping. Wait, that's the kind of thing. Maybe, maybe he's appearing, but I'm asleep and I, it's not like you can sleep in third person. You can only sleep in the first person. So maybe he's appearing right here, but my screen goes black. So how would I know? Unless, am I recording replay? I am. We can use replay mod to go back in time and get a full 360 degree view. Okay, here's me on the final night. I remember literally just commentating this a couple of minutes ago. Let's see. Okay, so I walk inside the house. Do we see anything out of the ordinary? Okay, I'm in the bed. Pause. Anything. Anything at all. Guys, keep your eyes peeled. If this black-eyed villager is real, then maybe it's in the village. Anything? Nothing here. I don't even see any villagers. I see the iron golem, so clearly stuff's spawning in here, but... Anything? Is there anything different with the mobs? Man, I, I can't see anything, but maybe it's just because, you know, I'm not looking hard enough. Maybe it's hiding somewhere in the shadows. Guys, please rewind that a ton of times. See if you see anything. Is there anything in here that I'm missing? Anything? I don't think so. Anything upstairs? I've tried, like, just about everything. And i got to tell you, I don't think this, this myth is real. I think this is fake clickbait. Now, back to the living mountain. Let's just slowly go back from where we came. Okay, it's all right. Don't know why that's a dead end unless, oh my gosh. I literally just took a wrong turn. <laughs> Guys, I actually thought that this mountain had me trapped. Bro, oh my gosh, I was freaking. Uh, okay, all right, all right. I, I took a wrong turn before maybe. I don't even remember, but I know for a fact I just walked through that tunnel. That's definitely not the exit. That is a lie. I mean, if the if the outside of the mountain is there, then this can't be the real outside of the mountain. Where did it come from? This mountain was massive. It can't end here. Hold up. I know what we can do. Let's see what happens if I dig to the side. Whoa. Whoa. It's fake. I knew it. Can I third person? What the? What the? I can't even look. I can't see myself in there. This is an illusion. The mountain's actually, the mountain is trying to trap us here. Did I, did I actually, huh? What is happening? This doesn't make sense. How is, how is the mountain ending? But it isn't and where'd this lava come from? Did, was this gravel before? I mean, there's gravel here. So was it, no, uh, was this gravel? Did it fall into the lava? Was the lava always there? I don't, I don't know what's real. I don't know what's not, but clearly this mountain is trying to kill me one wrong move and we're done for, okay. We need to get over there. We need to we need to build a bridge. That's what we need to do. We just need to build a bridge over there. The real exit is over there. All right. Hopefully my memory is correct. All right. We'll just grab some cobblestone and we can start building a bridge to the other side. That's all we got to do. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. Stay calm. Stay calm. It's all right. Okay. Good. All right. Let's go ahead and chuck the bridge down. What the? No. No, 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 no. Build out. Build out. Build out. Build out. The mountain. It's alive. It's alive. It's alive. It's alive.